My name is Zainal Hassan. I'm a graduate of Kirti Studies uh, in Karachi University in Aina. And uh, I've been practicing my art for, you know, ever since 2020 and uh, for, for, for the past two to three years. I've always been interested in arts, but I had no idea that I would one day be an artist. I currently work with uh, tea bags and you know, the whole concept of tea, symbology of um, uh, octopus. Because I've had to make tea for a long while and I feel like you know, putting it into art would be the best thing in order to express my feelings. In my family, uh, tea has made a very important role and also the presentation that goes with it. I think uh, I was told to present it very well. Let's suppose if, if you know, the milk was, wasn't right, the colour wasn't right. I was told uh, that it wasn't good enough. Uh, and I was made to feel as if uh, the tea was more important than my own existence. So I felt, you know, why this uh, this object or this vegan consumption of it is it's like so important than my whole uh, existence through the tea art. I was able to portray the feelings that I had and all the other women had. That is like, you know, I was being infused inside a tea bag. The flower represents the aura and the fragility of a woman. But the octopus, it symbolizes, you know, the creativity, the fluidity and the intelligence that a woman holds. These are all the things that I try to incorporate within my art. So my biggest influence uh, would be my mother because once I started uh, going to university for my admissions, I applied at the IUS. She was one of my biggest supporters, I would say. And everyone else in my family, they were like kind of a little bit reluctant. They would be like, you know, this was not a field that you should go to. My influence would be also the women in my household. Uh, I had my aunt with me and she, she lives with us. She has played a vital part in, you know, the um, upbringing. So I feel like these two women, my mother and my aunt, uh, in a way, they have influenced me and also motivated me in producing art that also tar targets those same norms that they were trying to, you know, influence me with. Their support pushed me and influenced me, and then I was able to, you know, produce and express my art in this way. So the work that I will be displaying would be uh, again the tea bags and. You know, the art that I was able to produce uh, while I was experimenting with the whole idea of tea. Uh, also, the chadam will also be displayed, the, one of my uh, biggest works that uh, I feel like people really connect with would be the chadam. It has a uh, pressed flowers, it's all tea bags, all of them are dry, uh, dry cleaned and then uh, turned into a whole chadam that's about. I would say five feet long, but I've cut it into two parts because it was too hard to carry. We also have uh, a few workshops that I would be very thrilled to attend and work with other individuals on tea bags. If we were to paint on tea bags, how would they feel working on a museum that is, uh, I would say, contemporary? Also, the surface is kind of hard to deal with because it's very absorbent. So I'm very excited about that as well. And uh, yeah, these are the works, uh, the works that I've uh, produced uh, would be displayed and people would be able to see them.